Hey, welcome to another Pandori tutorial. This one's on how to back up and restore your micro SD card. This is the micro SD which has all your games on the Pandora system. Okay, so we're gonna unscrew this box. There's three screws here. Let's pop them out. And this is what's in the box. This is your main board. Micro SD card is here. I had to pick up a load of glue and then I could get the card out. This is what was in it. This is a 64 gigabyte unbranded card. Anyway, first we're going to check out our target micro SD, where we want our backup to go. Okay, so uh, we're going to use this tool here. It's a fake flash test. Just download it. And then we should just be able to run the tool as soon as it hits our drive. Whenever you get a micro SD card, memory stick or anything like that, you should usually run it through here first. Uh, this actually destroys all data on the card, but don't worry, you can format it later. Okay, so it'll run through the test, check out if all of the space is legit or not. If you get a failure, make sure you send it back from where you got it. It's a piece of crap. Yeah. I wouldn't trust anything like that. Usually you're looking at cards from eBay, which are like half the price of those on Amazon. Also cards on AliExpress, things like that. You don't want to trust that sort of stuff. Okay, so this is passed, so we're good. Okay, so the first method we're gonna cover is to clone the memory card. It's gonna be exactly the same size. No bigger, no less. A perfect copy. That didn't include the format, and if you've got any bad sectors or something like that, if it was a regular drive, you know, just copy everything over. Clone it, clone. Okay, so to do this, we need to install Win32 Disk Imager. I'm sure, people who have a Raspberry Pi or something like that, they'll know this this piece of software. So I'm gonna give it an image file name, okay? So this is where we're gonna gonna make a clone on the hard disk drive first. Okay, just give it any name, uh, what, Pandora Backup or something. Pandora Backup .ing. Okay, then we're gonna press on the read button. And then I'll read from the original Pandora micro SD, which is in is the I, H, I don't know. Let's just read. And then my card's 64 gigabytes, so it's gonna take 50 minutes to do. 50 minutes later. <laughs> do we have success? Read successful. Okay, so that's the whole card as an image file on my hard disk drive now. So we'll just remove it. And now we can pop in the target micro SD card, which is now it's in H. You can actually have data on there if you want, but whatever. And you just press on write. And then it'll write out a perfect copy of your 64 gigabyte image as I said you cannot increase the size so you're only limited to 64 gig even if you have a 128 gigabyte card you can pop this IMG file somewhere safe or you can leave it there for later should be good or you can zip it whatever okay the second method is to select your micro SD your original one and hit copy, and then just pop it over to your hard disk drive, like this, copy and paste, simple. Doing it this way, you'll be able to use all of your memory sticks capacity, which is a nice thing to have. OK, 
Okay, same again. This is going to take about 50 minutes or something. So now we've got our destination drive in here. I'm just going to format it to XFAT, 32 kilobits. Kilobytes? Ah, gotcha. Okay, format complete. Then we're just going to paste over the files. So we've got Explorer, Local Files. <laughs> Right click, copy, go to the USB drive, right click, save, I mean paste. And it's gonna take a while, again. Okay, so once it's hit 100%, you'll have done. You just need to eject safely, and then you can use all of the data that's originally on your Pandora, plus the extra space which you can use later. Okay, thanks for listening. Hope you have a good time with your Pandora box. Bye!